peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to attempt to laser engrave denim. So let's get to it. So on our channel, we've never laser engraved any type of fabric. So we're going to just try to test out to see what kind of results we get. Are we going to cut through the fabric or kind of just take away the pigment of it? So we're going to use our Xtool D1 Pro 10 watt laser head because we've realized that we can tune that down by quite a bit to put out as little power as necessary to kind of just take away the color of the denim versus cutting through. Mm -hmm. Because obviously with a more powerful laser head, it'll really just burn right through if you don't have the settings right. And for our software, we're going to be using Lightburn just to get our settings down and create the design. Yeah, this is certainly going to take some trial and error to get dialed in just right. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're here in Lightburn and we're actually going to use our X tool for this project. So let me go ahead and select our laser, which is the X tool D1 Pro. And we're going to bring in our logo and we're going to trace this. And then we're going to size it to what we want. So I'm going to make sure that this is locked so that I can change just one here and it will affect the other as well. And I'll go ahead and just leave that there in the middle. And we do want this to be a fill. We're going to make sure that we're going to set this up for our 10 watt laser head instead of the 20 watt laser head. As we've noticed for engraving projects, the 10 watt laser head is able to, I guess, reduce the strength while still marking. Whereas the 20 watt laser head, you really can't reduce it past, I think it was like 17 or 20%. And at that point, it just, it doesn't really mark at all. Whereas the 10 watt laser head, you can go down pretty far and it will allow you to do that. We went ahead and already tested this out on denim, our 10 mile laser head, and we're gonna go ahead and assign that and we'll show you the settings here. Uh, we've got the speed at 2000 millimeters per minute and a max power of 10%, which is pretty low. So that gives us the best results. And we can leave our interval at 0.01, which gives us a really detailed engraving. And if your power is too high, it's probably just gonna end up cutting the apron. That's what we found. If you leave your power too high, it'll just burn right through the denim really quick. But this setting seems to work for us. So we're gonna go ahead and set up the laser. So we picked this little denim apron up from Harbor Freight for really cheap. So if we mess it up, no big deal. Yeah, we perfect right there. just use some tape to keep this in place. One thing we do need to make sure of is this tends to catch on um, projects. So we need to make sure that the laser head is high enough so that it doesn't catch the end of our denim here. Just like that. So an idea we can do is center up the crosshairs on the center of our project. And what we can do with that is change our settings here from absolute coordinates to a current position coordinate so that we can tell it that the current position is right in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the laser now to where I want it. And then I can set the origin by hitting set origin. So now when I frame it, it should show that as the center. Okay, I think it's ready to start. Well, there it is, looks perfect. So when you're engraving denim, to get the results that we're getting, it's basically just taking away the pigment of the denim. Yeah, and you don't want to burn too deep in there. You can see here we can pull on this and we didn't like damage the threads underneath. And that's really important. If you damage the threads underneath, it will compromise the integrity of the strength of the denim. But all we really did is kind of burn away that pigment and left a, a nice little mark on there for us. So that's pretty perfect results.
So the results of this project actually turned out really good and we didn't get any cutting issues. We got our settings right and we just took away the pigment. Yeah, so to be clear, we did some tests beforehand to kind of get the settings just right. But we, we did burn through some denim beforehand in some tests. But once we got the settings right, we got absolutely perfect results where you saw all we did is kind of take away the color of the denim without compromising the material at all, which is key. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you're reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.